Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Let's talk about Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. So as a lot of you guys know, guys and gals, I'm a real estate investor. We created a 506C fund and we care all about real estate, basically. And I'm always pushing my social media platforms, uh, Facebook, Instagram, you know, LinkedIn, stuff like that. So I constantly get a lot of people that come to me and say, I should invest in Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. I'm not a fan of neither at all. I know I'm probably gonna get a lot of pushback, but uh, truth of the matter is, I do not invest in anything that I do not understand. And I do not understand Bitcoin or cryptocurrency. And I don't believe in it. My conception or my uh, opinion on the subject is this. I feel that the government doesn't really like the amount of uh, actual cash that's in uh, circulation. And... Uh, they would probably like to remove that from a lot of us. Now, this is my conspiracy. I'm not asking you guys to improve me on it. I'm sure that uh, I'm not going to get very many thumbs up from this video, for say, but I'm okay with that. Um, so, with that said, if I was to ask to be engine, I was going to engineer a system or a platform that I could remove currency from the, the circulation of, in public, per se. Remove cash from the safe, remove cash from uh, my pocket, my wallet, whatever. Uh, because not many people have proved to me that you can get cash back once you invest in Bitcoin. So please correct me if I'm wrong. So if I was to invest, then my cash is gone and cash is king. Cash is what we go buy large multifamily real estate with. Uh, we go buy whatever we want with. But most importantly, um, I haven't seen yet on a HUD-1 statement to where I can use Bitcoin to buy large real estate. And that's a problem for me. Um and another problem is, is I don't understand it, so therefore I'm not going to invest in it. And I'm most, most, the number one thing to me is I have no passion for it. I don't have passion for something. I'm not about to, to give it much time. I just won't. You know, I absolutely am driven, love, and passionate about real estate because it leaves a history of wealth that it's created for people and returns lots of returns, massive returns, and it has tax advantages. I don't see where there's many tax advantages with Bitcoin and cryptocurrency and trading and stuff like that. I just don't. Um, you know, with, uh, with real estate, we buy a $12 million apartment complex and uh, five to seven years, we sell that guy for $20 million or so, you know, and then we... 1031 exchange that and we go buy another property for, I don't know, 20 million, 500,000 or $21 million. We, we paid zero taxes, none at all. And it's large money. And I get to depreciate that while I own it. And then second is, uh, I'm passionate about it. I like it. I like it a lot. I really like it. It's, you know, it doesn't really suffer much damage from the world. You know, it just it just keeps appreciating. And then I depreciate it off my tax schedule. It's really nice. Um, so, 
I let a gentleman talk me into experimenting with a hundred bucks. On that hundred bucks, we purchased um, Bitcoin via PayPal, because here's my reservation. This is what I wanted. This is my baseline. I said I'm not passionate about it. I wasn't happy about it to start with. So we took $100. I put that in my account, my PayPal account. I bought, and this was instructions, I bought the $100 in Bitcoin. I instantly lost $2 from fees. I don't like fees. Um, then I turned around and uh, was told that I needed to sell that to where I could buy it in another place and uh, invest it with a, a cryptocurrency broker. A broker, I, I guess that's what they do. Anyway, so with that broker, uh, they said, you need to sell this so you can buy it on this platform so I can actually um, flip it and mine it and, and do the things that you do with crypto and uh, or Bitcoin, whatever, anyhow. Uh, so I sold that. By the time I sold it, I had already got down to losing around $4. $4. So I'm a big Warren Buffett fan. And if you know the Warren Buffett rule, rule number one, never lose money. Rule number two, refer to rule number one, never lose money. So I wasn't happy to lose money. And another thing, my time is money. I dedicate my time to a lot of places. And with those lots of places, I like to be um, very busy, very disciplined with my time. And again, I spend almost all of my time with real estate and investing. And, and in real estate, we don't lose money, hardly ever. If you do a really, really good job of due diligence, you don't, do, you don't lose money. Now, I'm going to say that me losing money was my fault because as a good um, a good manager, a good professional, um, piss poor planning equals piss poor results. And I didn't plan this. I didn't. So it's nobody's fault but my own. I didn't put any due diligence into this at all. Besides I Googled, uh, fiat money and fiat money. Cause I was told that, that fiat money can't be taxed. So I Googled that and I was like, what is fiat money? So that's as much due diligence as I did. So this is my fault. I'm not blaming this on anyone. I let someone talk me into this. We went down the wrong path. We used PayPal to buy when we should have called the broker and did that. But anyway, I spent 45 minutes out of my very, very busy schedule to invest in Bitcoin I lost around $4, not happy about it. And I took 45 minutes out of my day. Now the biggest problem I have is that's 45 minutes I will never regain from my life. Because when the hourglass was turned over when I was born, I don't know how much sand's on top, and I'm probably gonna go do some really good deeds to see if I can regain 45 minutes of sand on top because uh, that 45 minutes, once your time is gone, you can't get it back. So I can make more money, but I can't make more time. And that, that was frustrating. So here we are. First experience with Bitcoin and crypto. I, um, when, the, when the comments start flowing, I will be as professional and try to answer comments and questions as much as possible. But again, fair warning, I am not by any means a supporter of Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. And I know a lot of people is going to get butthurt about it, but I'm just not. I'm a real estate guy. I, I like real estate. I like big real estate. I like big buildings and I cannot lie. I just can't. 
I really, really like apartment complexes and, and investing in those. So maybe one of these days I'll get back to maybe giving it a shot. I doubt it. Maybe. We'll see. But anyway, I just wanted to make a short video about this and vent. Vent to the camera. And I'm going to put this here on YouTube as you guys are going to find out. And I need to make... Um, a thumbnail that looks pretty good. Maybe I can get a bunch of people involved. But anyway, y'all have a great day. And this was my take, uh, Eddie Austin's take on the first experience with Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. No. Have a good day. Everybody.